Hello everyone, please excuse the legs, it's very hot today. Well, today despite the nice sunny weather, I'm going to open this Hoover Constellation and then I'm going to go out and enjoy the weather. But uh, I thought I'd get this open first. This is the earliest Hoover Constellation I've ever shown you on my channel. And I think this cleaner dates from around 1957. And this isn't the first constellation. It is the first version, but it's the second generation of the first version. You'll know what I mean when I get it open. Let's hope it survived. It's in a nice big box, much bigger than it needs. So hopefully there's a lot of packaging protecting it. Right. Indeed. Okay, well the first thing out, and this is going to need a bit of a clean up. This is the hose and look at that colour. A bit different from the normal white or cream on, and later black hoses who be used. It's a very nice shade of blue. So that's the hose and there's no suction control on the handle. And this is an earlier hose because as you can see here, this clip is metal. They later replace that with plastic clips that could break. Right. We've also got a little bit of original packaging showing the cleaning tools. I'll look at this in more detail once it's all out of the box. Well, congratulations on the seller for packaging this old girl very well. Here she is. Finally, last two items out of the box. Our two extension tubes, slightly discolored. Oh, and for some reason, Inside there are a couple of bearings and they look like Hoover, whoops. They look like Hoover agitator bearings for some reason. I've, I don't know if the seller meant to put those in, but uh, I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Well, here she is, the Hoover Constellation model 822. As I said, this is the second version of the very first Constellation, the very first Hoover Constellation looked more or less the same as this, but it didn't have the feature that we all know the Constellation for, and that's the air ride feature, the floating on air feature. So this was introduced quite soon after, I believe, that the non-floating one came out. I'm not sure why Hoover didn't think, hang on, let's make it float. But first of all, it didn't, which is why this one's got, ooh, what was that noise? I think I know. <laughs> this one's got, a top mounted hose that rotates 360 degrees. So the concept of this machine was you more or less put it in the middle of your room, connected the hose up, and you could clean most of a smaller or to average size room with a cleaner in the same place. But then the airlift feature came in and uh, took the Constellation into a whole new direction. So I'm very happy to have one of these. They are not easy to get hold of in the UK anymore. Standard constellations, I wouldn't say they're easy, but they're not too difficult to get hold of a standard constellation, but often you'll find they're really battered or they've got the tools missing. It's unusual to get one in really good condition. This one is obviously used. It's from, as I said, it's from 1957. It's over, over 60 years old, this cleaner, and I'm hoping it still works. I've already spotted a few things wrong with it. I had a lot of photos sent to me after I actually bought this. It was on a buy it now. I did get it for less than the original price because I there was other photos and it's not as good as it looked initially but so far I'm pretty happy with it and after a bit more of a clean and a polish it's going to look even better but let's let's have a look well let's have a look at the tools first and to have this cleaning tool caddy still intact and it's a little bit damaged but to have it still intact is pretty unusual. 
But I suppose when somebody bought this machine back in the 50s, they would have thrown the box away. But because this is a nice little caddy, they would have kept it to keep all the tools together. So this is the Hoover Constellation cleaning kit. And again, in a way, I'm glad this hasn't been cleaned up because so far what I see is superfluous dirt and it'll be very satisfying to clean up. Now that is a very early dusting brush. Lovely, lovely soft brushes. It feels a bit sticky, so this rubber may be going a bit odd. You know, as rubber sometimes does, it's it can leach out substances. But I'm hoping I'll be able to clean that up. But look, it's metal, part metal. Wasn't too long before that became a plastic piece, but look, metal piece on there and yes it does move a bit it is they are supposed to to move so you can swivel the dusting brush at a different angle so there's the dusting brush then we also have and again it's gone a bit sticky and i think some cat hair has stuck to that this is the all-purpose brush similar to the dusting brush but this this sort of shape this is all purpose so this is more for your upholstery your curtains your stair carpeting that sort of thing and again it's part metal and here we have a metal all metal crevice tool it's nice to see that the hoover roundel is still pretty intact it's not worn away i've had this particular nozzle before in other cleaners and that tends to be scratched off not not the best design. You were always used to seeing crevice tools, you know, with an angled, with a point at the end. But, I mean, it's still, it would still work, I'm sure, in a 50s home, getting down the side of your sofa. They still had biscuit crumbs in the 1950s, I'm sure, to get to, to get to crumbs out using this would be fine, or your cobwebs. So there's that. Quite a comprehensive kit this actually this again it's in lovely condition this just needs a good clean and a polish but this is metal again all metal early floor tool with the floating brush at the back so you can have it floating or you can or can you i'm not sure you can with this one. Oh yes you can you can have the brush up, permanently up, if you don't want the brushing action on your carpet. So that's, yes, it's dusty, but you know, this is over 60 years old, this vacuum. To find one anyway is pretty unusual, to find one in this condition. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, well, I haven't even looked at the cleaner yet, but so far, so far I'm happy with it. <laughs> Oh, look, I'm going to get my uh, doobry out. Let's just see if this works. This uh, cobalt thing. I said it's like a, a knit comb. Well, this is what I'll be doing at some stage. I might go out in the sunshine and start doing this. You can take the uh, comb and start combing out decades worth of dust and fluff. It will come eventually. It's quite worn this, they've obviously used it quite a lot, the previous owner or owners of this machine. But yeah, you can see it's starting to come out, look. Then it'll all be cleaned. I'll be able to take this brush away from the uh, sort of rubber part. It'll just come out. Again, it feels sticky. I do have some rubber, I showed you on another video, some sort of rubber protector. So once I've cleaned all this up, I'll put a layer of that on, hopefully. It'll uh, keep it in good shape, but yeah, you can see the principle. So Hoover called this the wall and floor brush. So you could use that for your, probably would be better on your parquet floor, your floorboards. People didn't have fitted carpets as much back in the day in the 50s. They would have floorboards with a, a rug in the middle. So this would be better on your floorboards and I say your wooden floors. But you can use it on your walls as well if your walls get dusty. And again, it's part metal and part rubber, part plastic and part wood as well. That part's made of wood. Um, that's it for the cleaning tools. 
Nothing I can do with this apart from give this a bit of a vacuum out. It is a bit dusty. There's nothing else on the box. So here's the cleaner. And as you can see, instead of the handle that we all know on the later versions of the Constellation that goes over the top, obviously the later Constellations, the hose comes out the front. So this has a handle on the top. And is it metal? Now I always thought it was metal, but it's not. I don't think it is. It's it is a plastic handle, but it seems to be pretty strong. And the cleaner, this is definitely heavier than the later Constellations. Much heavier. Well, not much, but it is. It has more weight to it. We can see the Hoover roundel here. And on the top, we've got Hoover Constellation. We'll pop the hose on, we'll see how that fits. And again, it's, that's metal. And it's, oh, it's a very heavy hose. But there it is. And as you can see, it swivels. Ooh. It swivels very easily, actually. I thought that would be safer than that. It's a bit noisy. Ooh. <laughs> I might be able to put a little bit of grease maybe yeah a little bit of light grease on that would uh, make it sound a lot smoother and the hose you know it's a very heavy duty hose it's quite dirty and grubby this is going to look much nicer it's not terribly dirty i've seen far worse but the blue color will really pop out once i've cleaned this well since it's such a lovely day i might do that get some of the tools cleaned up and put them outside in order for them to uh, dry. So there's the hose. Let's have a look around the machine. So we've got the wraparound furniture guard, looks much the same as the later constellations. The switch is quite different. This is the on off switch, which you can operate with your foot and it's metal. Now it is missing. There should be, and I think it was red originally, there should be a little red button that fits in that hole. Now, amazingly, I've got one, but it's in white, but I've still got, it will fit this. I ordered a, a Constellation switch from a website. It was not pictured. It just said Hoover Constellation switch. And I assumed it was one of those toggle switches. It was only 20 pence or something like that. It turned out to be the insert for the early Constellation. So. I have got one somewhere in my stocks, but I believe it's white, but it's better than nothing, better than having the hole. And you can see over the switch, we've got the metal catch to open up the body. On the later versions, that catch moved around the back. So the switch was at the front and the catch was at the back. So let's open up the Constellation. And, oh, heaven forfend, what is this? Oh, that's different. I didn't, mm. Not sure what bag that is, but it's certainly not. I've got some genuine Constellation bags, so I will fetch one down. It's got what looks like an original felt filter. Fairly clean. Um, and again, that's uh, looking a bit worn and tired. A good hot wash, hot soapy water. And maybe again some of that uh, rubber sort of protectant rubber conditioner that I've got. Now I'm pretty sure it should fit on this way round, not that way. Goes that way round. Yeah, needs a bit of work. And as you can see, because the cleaner fills from the top, the hose goes in at the top, this part is flat. On the other constellations, and you'll see many on my channel, this part is sort of angled here because of obviously the hose comes in that way and this is broken well it's come off anyway but i believe all this is this chain it should fit somewhere under here let's sh try and show you just under here there's a little receptacle for it so i'll see if i can get that back in and that just holds the lid sort of open like that when you open it instead of it dropping to the floor it holds it in i think that's just a case of just popping it back in the slot hopefully um 
I shouldn't have done that. I, I regret doing this, taking this filter off, but oh, just having a look underneath. One, two, this takes four, four screws to access the motor. I won't do that yet. One of the suppressors inside this one. So that's the felt filter. If you can't get hold of these, and you probably can't, if you've still got the old one, you can use it as a template and draw around it, and you can find some similar filter material to use. Right. Now the trick with these is to sort of try and open it up as much as you can, and then locate them on, and slowly, ooh, well, that's okay. That's more or less how it was. I'll put that bag back for now. It's not ideal. This is, I, I, I've never known this part here. This is odd. That sort of clamps the bag in. I will go and get a genuine bag because it will fit better inside that. I'll just pop upstairs and get one. Okay, I'm back. I've got these J bags. These are the latest bags you can buy. I think they're made in China. But you can still get them but they are becoming a bit harder to get. So if you've got a Constellation, I suggest you stock up on bags while they're available. Now I'm sure this original one would have had reusable bags and they would, it would have come with a metal clip that you could uh, fold the bag, empty it, fold the bag back over at the bottom and slide the clip on. I'm sure it would have had that, but this is non-reusable. But it is the right fitting. So we'll open out the bag. It does seem a little bit smaller than the older bags I remember. Anyway, it's Type J in the USA. Can't remember the type in the UK. There, you can see how well that fits into the top there. And then we can secure it. Can we? Does that really do much? I'm not sure. But anyway, there we are. Poke my finger in. Close up the top. You don't want to trap the bag. Tuck it in there. There we are. Secure the clip. So there we go. That's the the bag fitted. Oh heck, I thought there was something wrong. I thought that's a bit hard to close. I'd caught the chain, so I must, I'll deal with that later. That's still quite hard to close, even with the chain tucked in. But that's better. We've got the little grommet at the back, the strain relief for the cable, that's still intact, amazingly. And a different type of skirt on this more separate. It's a nice colour, nice two-tone colour isn't it? So I believe with this one, I'm not sure if it, it, you can with this one, I'm sure the earlier one you could remove it, for it, it was hinged, this skirt part was hinged and I don't think it is on this. I don't know if we can connect, can we connect the hose to the underside of this one for blowing? Hmm. We can't really, not, not like that. Just wondering if it does open, it might open. I'm sure it must, I feel, yeah, I think it does. I don't want to break it, I don't know where it's hinged. It's either hinged to this side, at the front, or at the back. <sighs> Can't seem to shift the thing. Uh, I'll leave it for now. <laughs> I don't want to break it. It survived 60 plus years and I don't really want to, to destroy the thing. I'll have a look online just to see if this model does and I've certainly seen pictures of a similar model and the whole unit hinges away from the the skirt in order to use it for blowing. I'm pretty sure it does that. 
Let's have a look at this fabulous rating plate. It's not a sticker on this. It's a metal plate with all the details. By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, supplies of vacuum cleaners, the Hoover Cleaner Model 822, protected by patents, registered designs and trademarks in Great Britain and the principal countries of the world, AC-DC motor, 225 to 250 volts, 0 to 60 cycles, 510 watts, rating 9, the serial number is 84919, made by Hoover Limited Great Britain, complying with BS1645 double insulation. I've had a quick look online and another closer look at the cleaner and I'm sure this should hinge open in order for you to connect the hose to the blowing outlet and the hinge is on this side and the catch is on the front where the switch assembly is but I don't want to force it there may be a knack to it but um, yeah this should hinge open and then you'll be able to connect the hose to the wand I'll show you this again once it's had a, a thorough clean but I can just about see some wires through the hole there some very thick red cable obviously this cleaner was made a lot better than the very later versions but even so the later versions that ran up well like well they ran up to the early 80s they were still better made than the majority of cleaners you can buy today but yeah i'm really pleased with it so far but we haven't switched it on are you going to blow up hopefully not it's got the original bit grubby but it's as i say it'll clean up lovely color coordinated blue ribbed cable and a nasty modern plug well modernish it's old because it doesn't have the doubly insulated you know the pins the live and neutral pins um, became insulated because it was possible until the insulation appeared on the live neutral pins and this happened to me as a, a young boy I was trying to plug a vacuum in it was I think the socket was under my bed and I was feeling for the socket and this happened I got my hand between the socket and the pins and I got an electric shock so the insulated pins were designed to prevent that but it's a Volex anyway well it says VT on it but I'm sure that looks like a Volex plug anyway we don't want to look at the plugs we want to see if this cleaner goes so i'm going to move it to one side and then switch on Well, she sounds very nice. She smells vintage, but not, not in a Bernie, I'm about to explode way. It's that sort of decades, years of dust and, but it's a nice vintage smell. Um, yeah, the suction isn't as good, certainly not as good as the later versions. And the, uh, the air lift again is pretty mediocre. I wonder if a lot of air escapes out of this out of here possibly <laughs> yeah it, it it leaks air it leaks air from from these gaps here i mean it's not the best this carpet for a constellation to float on although later versions do float very well on this carpet if you have a later version and the skirt is a bit distorted or damaged that can prevent it from floating properly the skirt on this is fine yeah there's some marks on this skirt but i think that's like um i don't know they look like sort of adhesive marks i think um if i'm careful i'm not going to taking a brillo pad to this but if i'm careful i think i i should be able to clean this up i mean it looks lovely on camera the camera sometimes lies, I have to say. 
Despite what Bucks Fizz sang in the 80s, the camera never lies. The camera can make things look a bit better. It makes me look a lot fatter than I am. I've got a six pack. This, this is just an effect of the camera, you see. So, um, but still, even in real life, even close up, Ooh, despite the creaky creakiness, um, I'm pretty pleased. And yes, this cost me a pretty penny, I have to say. As any sought after or fairly rare vacuum cleaner for a collector. I mean, I didn't get into a bidding war. I did buy it. I thought, well, how often do you see this particular model on eBay? Certainly eBay UK. It is very rare to see this model. So, and I've wanted one for a long, long time. All right, is that going to go in? It doesn't want to go in there. Oh, it doesn't want to go in, hang on. Oh, it should go in. It doesn't want to click into place. Hmm, sod. Oh, <laughs> suddenly did it. Yeah. And you can still use the carry handle with the hose attached. But yeah, that is a nice cleaner, I have to say. And one that's going to look even nicer. It's not going to take much to get this a bit cleaner, a bit shinier, a bit less noisy. In fact, I'm going to grease that up now because that's annoying me. Well, there you go. That's the end of my first look video on this model 822 Hoover Constellation, a very early model and a model I'm certainly very happy to have in my collection. I've waited a long time to get this cleaner and finally my patience has paid off because I've got what I consider to be a very good example. It's not mint in the box, but it is very good condition for a machine over 60 years old and she sounds very good. I must say I do like the swivel top hose and I would have liked to have seen it incorporated on later more powerful versions to be honest. It is quite handy having this hose that swivels all the way around the machine. So combine the swivel hose with a better air lift and there's, this machine would have been extremely maneuverable. But all in all, I just love the color of it. I love the styling. It's just absolutely fantastic to finally have an early constellation in my collection. I will be showing you this again at some point once she's had a bit of love and attention. And one day I'll get out all my constellations from the first one here right up to the very last one made in the year 2000, I think it was, the Maytag satellite. Looks a bit similar, but obviously not a patch on these earlier models and won't last anywhere near as long. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about the Hoover Constellation, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.